at the storage unit and boy, we tired. We just did a storage unit. We were thrifting and then got a storage unit and cleaned out the entire storage unit and made three videos. And let me tell you, they are epic. I don't know if this is our best storage unit ever. Mm, it's up there. Yeah. It's ranked up there with the stuff it we found. It could be up there if one of the pieces. Yeah, if one of the pieces are real, it's really up there. So if you haven't looked at the Beard Thrift Machine channel, definitely go take a look because this storage unit video probably is not going to be out for at least a week. It's gonna take me a really long time to edit these things because they're long, but I uh, will probably have three videos and each video is like, it was insane, that's all I have to say. But $22 for this Pioneer thing. We bought it for like 10 bucks and we sold it for parts. These are super rare. I bought these up at Peaches to Beaches and I got them for $5. We're already well in the profit because we got the free boxing gloves and they sold for like 100 and 100 or whatever they were. But these I could not find. I found them on a um, website for boxing. Like it was a boxing forum. And people were like, these are the best boxing shoes ever. They're called the Rivals, I think. But they don't make these anymore. They make us another Rival that Adidas does. And look at the, like, they're just really clean. They sold for $150 plus shipping. Yeah, that's a good sale. That's pretty good. We did have some crazy golf club sale too. We had a Thomas Golf sale. It is a... Uh, Hybrid driver sold internationally for $67.99 plus the international shipping, whatever that would be. It says they, uh, they spent $17 in shipping. Let me just keep knocking that one around. Uh, once upon a treasure, thank you so much. You bought one of our Color Street mm -hmm. things. So we do appreciate it. We got, I don't know what, 300 more, 400 mm -hmm. more for sale. So some of them are on eBay and also some of them are on our whatnot shows. This uh, little Wedgwood sold. These have been selling for about 50 bucks. We picked them up down there at Tybee Island and we're well in the profit on that. So that's a pure profit sale right there. And they so they were $15 in. So this must be uh, a little bit closer. Get on there, little buddy. What are you doing? There you go. Huh, that's annoying. All right, next. This one doesn't have a head cover, but super clean. I have to watch this. I'll probably wrap this one up. This is a nice tailor-made. 20 bucks plus shipping as you can tell guess what it's golfing time it's getting warm outside people are like Whew, it's nice out let's hit some golf balls then we did have a shirt sell right here for ten dollars blessed to be called nana get it there's a b that's cute so a very cute shirt we have actually a whole bunch of these don't we mm -hmm. so if you want one of these i think they're in all smalls though because this one is a small if you want one of these obviously we sell them for 10 bucks we're gonna go ahead and wrap this stuff up ship it out at the storage unit we got some sales thrifted thingamajigs thank you so much for the purchase you bought the really cool ceramic cat pumpkin doesn't work though you probably just have to change the bulb or something but super cute um who's packing that me or you not it uh uh, I lost a pottery piece the other day, remember? You did. So, a pottery piece. It wasn't your fault, though. Was broken. I thought it was a, it was pretty good. I mean, I wrapped it how I usually wrap it with three inches of padding on each side, and she didn't make it. 20 bucks for these really cool uh, shorts. Hybrid shorts. I don't know, 20 bucks for them, though. That ain't too bad. These always sell. If you ever see this rose design right there, and on the back, it's going to say like 1967 or whatever. $10 plus shipping. Always. They always sell. I pick them up for a quarter at a yard sale. It takes a while for them to sell. But for some reason, this design always, 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 always sells. Hmm. Usually in two months. And Rhonda, thank you so much. You bought our Toomey book bag that we picked up at the Goodwill not too long ago. It is heading your way. We tried to do it through our website. For some reason, Rhonda's in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And the website would not calculate the shipping to Puerto Rico. We tried. We have no idea. But you then, we put it on eBay and then you bought it from us. So we much appreciate it. $29.99 for a port cable saw. Rant, rant. I think that's all it's broken. Sounds like a duck. Then this guy sold $30 plus shipping on that. And then $39 for a club. And I didn't know this name brand. It's just a neat looking club. And uh, this one sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And this was one of the ones from Tybee Island that we picked up for like two or three bucks, which was insane. But I've also noticed when it comes to golf clubs, that UPS shipping is a lot higher now. I might be switching back to USPS ground. For some reason, like this golf club, they paid $17 to ship. And I don't know where it's going, 
but uh, that's pretty expensive. So for us, even for us now, golf clubs are at the minimum of like $13 to ship for UPS. I might switch to flat rate shipping for golf clubs at $15 because I haven't seen somebody pay less than $15 yet. So it would give us up because those boxes are expensive. Those boxes are like $1.16. So I'm thinking that I might do flat rate shipping on golf clubs. I'm pretty in tune with how much that costs, but I've been noticing lately that they have really gone up in, um, in the, the shipping cost has really gone up that people are paying. So it's just the length of them. That's the crazy thing. They're not heavy. They're less than two pounds, but the length of it kills it. Then we had a big fat goose egg yesterday. Dun, dun, dun. We haven't had a goose egg. That means zero sales um, without being on vacation in three years. Yeah. Yeah, I still personally think it has something to do with that whole hack thing that happened mm -hmm. because it's not, I don't think it's a coincidence that something was going fishy with our account and then we got zero sales and then today we're back to normal with our regular, you know, was this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sales and it's only three o'clock. So we'll probably get our 10 to 15 sales, you know, tonight. So I'll go home and list some more, but we are, we, we're listing still 10 to 20 a day, good items, everything's selling. As you can tell, I mean, I know this sold for 10 bucks, but right now, I mean, we had a 40, a hundred, a 30, a 30, a 20, a 20 and a 10. We're trying to raise that, what is it called? Sales price? Yeah. Up at least like 25, 30 bucks, cause you ain't gotta sell a whole bunch of this to make some money. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and pack this stuff up, ship it out. Real quick before we leave, we were gonna go pack this stuff up and ship it out, but we've had a lot of questions lately. We have a video on our other channel, The Beer and Thrift Machine, about shipping golf clubs, but that was two years ago and everything has changed shipping golf clubs. The thing is, people still watch that when they ask me questions, so I'm not gonna delete the video cause most of it's still good information other than we ship in these now. These are four by four by uh, 48 boxes. Now you can get a UPS business account, but we did, and I don't know if I ordered things wrong, but they came as UPS express boxes. So I got to go back on, but they're also 36 inch boxes, which you ain't fitting a whole bunch in a 36 inch box. Uh, these right here, the four by fours, they will fit any uh, putter, they'll fit any iron, and they'll fit any hybrid. The things where you come into uh, and issues are, are these big headed, clubs right here a lot of people are like we're not shipping we they go to a five five by five box five by five by 48 boxes are way more to ship so what you do is is that you stick the the handle in first it's very easy right and all you do at that point because if you try to get this in first you wouldn't believe it would not go in does it mm -hmm. i've seen you wrestle with one before and oh, you're, it was terrible look all you do just press it in that's it and then obviously you just tape it up and then on this side what you're gonna do is when you come down here, I slit that a little bit and fold it over so it's under 48 inches. It's the easiest way to do it. And if it has a head cover, what I just said, I'll, I do the same thing and then I just shove the head cover on this side. For expensive clubs, I do wrap the head on clubs that aren't expensive, honestly, like this club that already has some major damage, not damage, but scratches and they're not gonna notice another scratch. I mean, look, this thing has a whole bunch of paint that's chipped off of it and everything. Mm -hmm. Still a good club. You gotta remember, these things hit golf balls. They're made to hit golf balls. So um, some of them get damaged, some of them get scratched. I don't wrap this at all. And I've never had somebody, I've had three golf clubs probably in what, four years damaged. Mm -hmm. And none of it was the head of the club. It was always the shaft breaking because I think these things get caught in some sort of machine and then they break the shafts in three. That's the only time that's ever happened. So that is the easiest way to do it. I know a lot of people would say, you can't fit that in there. I'm telling you right now, just that way is the easiest way to do it. So. They're, it's not hard. I know a lot of people get um, they get intimidated by shipping these things. It's one of the easiest things I think it is to ship. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate everybody watching. Remember, we do have the new website, mm -hmm. thebeardedthriftmachine.com. Remember, if you're on your phone, we're getting a lot of messages that they can't find Kayla's Creations. What you have to do is go under Categories. Mm -hmm. And then, because I think everybody now is on their phone. Wouldn't right. you agree? Because none of the, if you're on your uh, computer, it literally says Kayla's Creations on right. the left. But on your phone, you have to hit categories and you'll see Kayla's creations. Mm -hmm. She is pumping out these things as fast as she can, but all the purse and all of the pot charms are sold. Yes, uh, I think I have a couple. You got right. a couple? And hopefully by this video, there'll be more posted. Right, and also most of our merch is sold. I think we're down to one mug. Yes. And we have nothing else, correct? Yes. And we have you, some magnets and we have some stickers and some koozies. Yes, and if you ever see anything that you want to purchase from our videos, message us on the website and we'll post it to the website and we'll give you a better deal because 
we don't have as many fees on the website as we do on eBay. Correct, our fees on the website is there's a yearly fee because it's a commerce website and handles like sales tax in state. And then also there's like a 3% uh, credit card fee or something that we pay mm -hmm. or something that has to do with that. So it's considerably cheaper for us to sell on the website and for y'all because it's way cheaper. You know, eBay's 15% as high as 15, 20%, and then uh, whatnot's 10 or 11%. So it's way cheaper to sell on your own website and be able to get you guys some better deals. So um, what we're gonna do is pack, not this up, we're gonna pack the other stuff up, ship it out.